Well, she's come to South Florida to warn your children of the dangers of meeting people in person they initially met on the Internet. Now she's told her powerful and emotional story to Congress. CBS 4's Lori Stein talked to her today, and Lori, this young woman's strength is awe-inspiring, isn't it? It's absolutely an incredible story. You know, Alicia's been through so much, and after everything she's been through, she is trying so hard to help others. She's spoken to kids and adults, and now she is reaching out to lawmakers. She wants them to know what happened to her, so they'll pass two new laws to increase law enforcement funding. I first told you about Alicia's story back in September when she explained how a horrific predator abducted her and held her hostage as his sex slave for days. Now she's sharing the heartbreaking details with Congress, telling politicians how easily children are manipulated online. I am that 13-year-old girl who is lured by an Internet predator, transported across state lines to Virginia, in fact, not so very far from here, and enslaved by a sadistic pedophile monster. Alicia's powerful story moved even seasoned politicians to tears and encouraged them to take action. In fact, there are now two bills pending in the Senate and Congress that would increase law enforcement funding to catch online predators. Florida Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz is sponsoring one of the laws. Let me be clear. This is not about obscenity or pornography. These images are crime scene photos created by a thriving industry that uses children as sexual commodities. This map shows the traffic in child pornography in just one day, 4,500 separate locations. Experts say at least 350,000 Americans actively trade in child porn images. Experts say it's a problem that's getting increasingly difficult to control and that predators are constantly keeping up with new technology and lingo to entice kids online. He had it all down. The abbreviations, the music, the slang, the clothes. He knew it all. I never had a chance. Law enforcement agents testified as well. They say they have now got the technology they need to catch Internet predators, but they don't have the resources. They say they're simply overwhelmed and that more children could be abducted and possibly killed unless there's more funding. Now, if the bills pass, there would be an extra $1 billion for crime labs and federal agents dedicated simply to crimes against children. And I spoke to both um, Mary, Alicia's mom, and Alicia just a few minutes ago, and they said this funding is really mm -hmm. what's needed. When you hear law enforcement sure. agents say they're overwhelmed, right. that's a big cause for concern. She's only 19, and 19. she must have been so nervous to you do that it, today, it's right? It's funny. She said, people always ask me, are you nervous? And she said, I should be intimidated but I'm not I think she feels so empowered when you have such a story to tell right. all you're thinking about is the message well, and that's what Alicia's impact. about. You can see the impact she had on the uh, members of Congress. Yeah and I think she, she's feeling that impact and that empowers her and it's so exciting.